hello guys welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video today we will talk about the java string value of method and i will show you how we can use this method to convert data types like the integer float double boolean into string data type one key point to note is that this method returns a string value so now let me explain further how to use this method by giving you concrete examples. In the first example, I will show you how to convert an integer into a string. So I'm going to start by declaring an integer value. So I will say int and I will call it my number. And I will initialize it by passing, by storing the value 20 in it. We will then use a string variable to store the value being returned whenever the value of method is going to be evaluated. So I will say string and I will call it returned value. And then here I'm going to call my method. So this is how you call the method. You write string value of, so string that value of and you open the brackets and inside the bracket you need to pass the variable that you are converting so here i'm converting my integer variable so i will pass my number because that's the name i gave to my integer variable then i will simply do a system that out that print line and in here i will write the name of the string variable that is storing you know the value returned uh, when my method is evaluated and so i will write returned value and i will do a concatenation and write 20 here. And if I run this, I will get 2020. Okay, so I'm getting 2020. What the system has done is that it has joined the string value stored in returned value here, my string variable here. It has joined it to the constant value 20 here. So as you can notice that the value being returned and stored in return value is 20. So 20 is now being converted into a string value. So that's why during the concatenation, we get 2020. We don't get 40, but we are getting 2020 because the 20 is considered to be a string value now. For example, but you will see that if I used my number, okay the variable my number here and run i'll get 40 because my number is storing an integer value okay but if i do returned value i will get 20 20 because returned value is storing the string representation of my integer value 20 here so in simple terms this method has converted my integer value into a string and has stored it in returned value and when i want to output it here and doing a concatenation with the value 20 i'm getting 2020 because 20 is now being considered to be a string value so that's actually the logic behind it. So I will do a second example where I'm going to convert a decimal number into a string. So what I need to change here, I need to remove this one and declare double and I will call it decimal number. And I will assign the value 9.5 to it. And in here, I need to change this to decimal number. Uh, my bad. 
Yeah. Decimal number. If I run, so as you can notice as well, this uh, 9.5, you know, this decimal number is being converted into a string and being stored in returned value. And in the system that are the print line, you can see that the value being stored in return value is considered to be a string, okay? So if you will see the difference, if I remove return value here and write a decimal uh, number like this and run, I'm getting 29. 0.5 because the value stored in decimal numbers is actually the variable decimal number is actually a number and uh, the way the system sees it like this is an integer constant number this is a decimal number so naturally it does the operation but if i do return value here it's not going to do an, an arithmetic operation because the value stored in return value is actually a string because this statement that you see here has converted our decimal number into a string. So that's it. Uh, let me quickly do like uh, the last example where I'm going to convert an array of characters into a string. So I will declare my array, I will call it alphabet, alphabet. So this is how you declare an array and the assignment statement. Uh, and in here, I'm going to put my characters, I will say A, B, like this. And I'll put a semicolon here. So instead of writing decimal number here, I'm going to write alphabet. So if I run, you will see that all the characters stored in my array are going to output here. So let me remove this concatenation here, okay? If I run, I get A, B, C, D, E, all the characters stored in my array. So what it has done is that it has converted my array of characters into a string. And uh, as you can see here, so whenever this method is evaluated, um, the array of characters is converted into a string. So guys, uh, we will stop here, but note that this conversion into string type can be done for all the other primitive data type like the um, float data type, the long, the short data type. You can still use the value of method to convert these primitive data types into strings. So guys, that was it. Uh, thanks for viewing. I hope this video was informative and please do not forget to support this channel by liking this video and also by subscribing to this channel. Let's meet in the next video. Cheers.